Right folks, I've just caught a glimpse of the church through that field there. I was up on the bank there. Um, isn't, isn't, isn't a brilliant shot, but just through there, the, the church is. But I'm going to follow the, the track. It's a little church, yeah, it looks really ancient. It looks like the sort you get in Cornwall, you know. Very old, like original medieval, if not before, looking. Cold bone is similar, but I don't know. So anyway, I've got up that hill, everyone. I've been attacked by creatures. I forgot to bring my pesticide. I've got it left in the van. But um, I hope I haven't been attacked badly, you know. Can't always tell. They're, cr they're crafty little things. Anyway, so we go down this track. This is videoed for posterity. I've got the battery charger on. It has no, there's no sign of it saying that the memory is full yet. I'll just stop and see. Hold on a minute. Stop. No, we've still got a bit of memory. I've got to keep an eye on it. Like I said, it didn't warn me last time. I, it does show. It'll flash up. I think there's an orange light comes on. Um, when it's very near the end. It can't be far off now. So I have done a lot of video footage and pictures. So it's uh, doing well though for day two on this on this card. Day one and day two. We're not far from the church now. I've just met two young ladies with their three dogs. First people I've met. Well, there were, no, not the first. There were two, but they spoke and we both said how lucky we are with the weather. All right, so here we are, back to civilization. Look at it, how it perfect. The weather's turned out, look. Look at that. Look at that, everyone. Cows in the field, there's a farm down here. <sighs> Go to a second field gate into Churchyard Farm. Across the yard and through a third field gate to reach a small tarmac road. Turn left up the road. Well, I lived on a farm in the middle of nowhere, you know. Um, down in Totnes. Yeah, I was out like this in the middle of nowhere. Right, there's a yard. I walk through the farm now. That's Stoke Piro. I'll video it for posterity. Because someone's caravan's out of passion, isn't it? Ah, ah we've achieved it. There's a horse there. Go through this third gate. And now I'm just, uh, well, there it is, there, I can see it now. I can see the church now. So just got to go through here then. There's the church. I'm going to turn off for a minute and take photos. Right, video. Here we've got the church. A Stoke Piro, or Piro, or Piro, I don't know how you pronounce that. It's got graves as well. A lovely old farmhouse that's obviously been, had the walls rendered and everything. It was like a, quite an old chimney though. That's probably been strengthened over the years. Stuck right out here. Thought I'd put, I've taken just a few photos so far and uh, I bet it won't be I bet you anything the one thing that uh, that bit won't be open I bet you anything in open so you come all this way right you come all this way unless they got the key in there oh, that's beautiful though isn't it I, it don't look open do it James Payne, P-A-I-N-E. I've got Payne's in my family. 
without the E on the end, who departed this life June 25th, 1854, age 66. Human and gentle, affable and kind, a plain but open, moral, honest mind. <sighs> Something to die in Christ he put his trust to rise through him trumps triumphs with the just uh, there's a Richard Crick wonder if he's related to the bloke who invented DNA that'd be interesting wouldn't it imagine that if that Crick was uh, connected I just zoom in on that one Doubt it, but you know, you never know. You never know, Richard Crick. <sighs> the son of John and Grace Crick. Died age 16 in 1850. A oh, young lad. Richard Tamlin family over there. David Rawl of this parish who died July 18, July 1st, 1850 or 30, age 68. Farewell my husband and my children dear. Now I am gone, don't for me shed a tear. As I am now, so must you shortly be. Therefore prepare for death and follow me. David Rawl died July 24th, 1870, age 87. Oh, I see. Jane. Yes, Jane, the wife, died of David. So he, she died age 68. It looks like 1830 or 50. And he died um, 1870. So they weren't far apart, really. No, they weren't very far apart. Prepare to meet thy God. I bet it didn't open. It would be nice if it was. Oh! Oh! Look, it is open. Wow, how lovely. Stoke Pair, Rector, Reverend Bill Le Leamy, Curate Reverend Anne Gibbs, Reader Rosemary Ball. Stoke Pair Church, mentioned in the Doomsday Book, the most isolated and highest church on Exmoor, 1,013 feet above sea level. Wow, look at that door. Wow, that's really, really old, isn't it? I've got to watch that my memory doesn't go now. You, this is what happens, you know. I'll have to do it all again. <laughs> Stable gate door. God, it's open. I'm so thrilled. I'm so thrilled. God, this is really good and it's well cared for. You can tell. It's well cared for, everyone. I had that on Zoom then. i got to go back out. I had that on Zoom. Because after that graveyard, i got to go back out. So it won't show properly. Yeah, when I was looking at that grave, that crook grave, I had it on Zoom. So I came in, I opened the stable door, I read all that, that'll all be um, blurry, and I was touching this wood. Is that, look at that, look at that, that is, must be original. Wow, that is amazing. Puxton Church is old. It's got the real old um, tall compartments at Puxton. But these look pretty old, these benches, don't they? They look like old school benches, don't they? People have been sat here writing their names on here, haven't they? Yeah, many a person sat there. That lovely, that is new-ish, isn't it? Wagon ceiling like that. Embossed with those embellishments. I 
just got to keep an eye on the memory, don't finish soon. I'll check this afterwards. There's a little font. And it's got bells. I wonder if they ring. I wonder if they ring, these bells. Visitors, but my sister Jude could be in here. She could be, couldn't she? Oh. Wow, this is this is so old. You can feel the the ageness of it. It's been looked after. Look at that lovely wagon ceiling though. It's been looked after. Oh. Chateau de Piro. Oh, maybe it's got a connection with France. Um, could have been with the Normans coming over here and all that. Stoke Pirro Church. The name of the parish comes from the family of Pirro, but is unknown when they first possessed and possessed land. It is mentioned in the Doomsday Book, and Gilbert de Pirro was there in the reign of Edward the First. Various families held land at Stoke Pirro in the early 18th century through marriage into the families of the Quiche of Newton, St. Ceres. It is unknown when the first church was built, nor is the patron saint known. The old church, which stood on the present site, was much decayed, and in 1897 the present building was erected by Sir C.T.D. Ackland. The tower and porch are the only remnants of the old building. The tower never appears to have been finished as the stairs end abruptly at the roof. <sighs> the oldest bell, Sancto Barbara, TG, was probably the 15th century founder. The second bell, TP, 1617. Third, Mr. William Tamlin, Churchwarden, 1821, cast by John Kingston, Bridgewater. Wow, he could be related to the Kingstons that I know. <sighs> the earliest church register starts in 1712. Oh, that's good, isn't it? As usual, I'm doing the um, video first, in case someone comes in. Ah, I'll take I'll take one of those. I'll put some money in the pot in a minute. I'll have one of those as well. At least they've got some. At least they've got some um, information. Oh, look at the little structure here. The Canticle of the Sun by Francis Assisi. That's what they were reading out. Yeah, look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? And that lovely door, that door. It's beautiful. It's so old. They said the porch and the tower were the oldest parts. And the Ackland family rebuilt this place. Look at the ceiling's really well done, though. It's always good to have a good roof. And this looks pretty old. This pulpit, doesn't it? It's pretty old to me. Worth coming here, isn't it? Worth coming. Little piano organ thing there. Psalm 100 and 248. 
Oh, look at that neat little altar. Look. Oh. I wonder if it's is it wooden underneath? Yes, yeah, like a wooden table. Oh, look at that little tiny piscina or place to put stuff. Mary. Oh, it's really beautiful. It was worth the walk coming from Porlock today. On the 12th of September 2019, I came here. And uh, to the glory of God and in memory of Walter Hook, priest, Wells Cathedral and Royal Dean Rector of Porlock, 1872 to 1899, and of Stoke Pirro, 1885 to 1899, born September the 22nd, 1839, entered into rest March the 27th, 1899. <clears throat> In Algiers, his body rests awaiting the final coming of Redeemer, who shall raise it incorruptible. The Lord grant unto him that he may find Mary of the Lord in that day. Whatsoever the hand findeth to do, do it with my, thy might. It's a nice little plaque, isn't it? I forgot I had my glasses on the end of my nose. <sighs> I wonder how often they have a service here. Can hear the wind whistling around. Lots of cobwebs. It's beautiful though, isn't it? Lots of spider webs in here. They've got lots of flies to catch. A little tiny area for the choir to sing here. Loads of spiders, Sheila. Be careful. Isaiah 36. But they held the bare peace and answered him not a word, for the king commandment was saying, answer him not. Oh, I haven't really had much to do with anything like that since I was at school, to tell the truth. Where we had to sing hymns and pray and everything. I had a, I did have an episode of spiritual enlightenment for a while. But then I found it to be too repressive. To be quite honest. Oh, I just love this doorway. Please leave this door open. Oh well. Oh well, I expect it's to stop the damp. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. Psalm 121. This church of Stoke Pirro was restored once again for the worship of God through the kindness of Herbert Reeves of Hackerty Way, Porlock, in memory of Ella Winifred Reeves, William E. Marsden, architect, James Hewish and Sons builders, Cyril Westcott, Dora Westcott, R.E.M. Haynes, rector, and the Westcotts were church wardens. I'm just taking it all.